Hi, welcome to the third UpsetPC.com video guide. Today I will be showing you a really simple, accessible way to get started with Linux. It's not confusing or difficult at all and will allow you to get started running uh, the Ubuntu Linux environment uh, and Windows on the same computer without having to mess around with partitions or other complicated things. We will be installing a version of Ubuntu called Wubi, which is a very popular Unix distribu distribution which has a free office suite. Um, the operating system doesn't cost you a penny and is very similar to the way that Windows looks and operates, except everything is free. Um, so that's there's many benefits to having Linux and if you're looking to get started then this is the best way to do it. So the first step is to open your Internet Explorer window and go to www.ubuntu.com when you get here click the download button on the top left scroll down and on the right you should see the windows based Wubi installer and then click try Wubi now and you'll be um, asked to download this file. So I'll save that to the desktop and close Internet Explorer. If you can't, if you didn't notice the uh, web address there, here it is at the bottom of your screen. Okay, so now we have our Wubi file. If we double click this and click Run, this is the first step of the installation. So it asks for a drive to put it in so I'll just put it in C. It asks for the language, I'll just stick with English, and the amount of size in gigabytes that we should give from our current C drive, which is our free space, towards the Linux installation. Now, I only have 8 gigabytes free on my C drive, so I'm going to give 5 gigabytes to my install of Ubuntu. Just leave the desktop environment with Ubuntu and under username I'm going to leave it as Andy and I'm going to put a password of password into this box. You can put whatever you like in here. Next I'm going to click install. Now it has to download a fairly big file here of 699 megabytes which for me it says it will take around about 20 minutes. So I'm going to go away and come back when this is complete. Just leave it and it would be finished pretty quickly. Thank you. After that has finished um, installing and downloading you'll be presented with this screen. Simply click reboot now. Make sure you have all your work for the, uh, saved and shut down before you click that of course because it will now restart your computer. Okay, so my computer has now restarted and instead of automatically booting XP and I have the option to boot either Windows XP or Ubuntu. So obviously I'm going to stick in Ubuntu here. So I press down and then I hit enter. There's a small countdown. Okay, so this is Ubuntu now loading. As we're greeted with this uh, graphical loading screen. So if you've got this far, well done. Uh, nearly there. We just need to do a little bit of setup on uh, uh, on this installation section, and then that's it. Okay, so now we're greeted with this uh, installation window. Now it's just doing a current check to see that we've done, done everything all right so far. So it shouldn't flag up any errors, and it should just continue doing what it was doing uh, before. This section will take a little bit of time and uh, where it's loading I'll just skip ahead just to save some time and you just leave your computer until you reach the next stage. Okay so the setup has reached 100% and it will now reboot itself. And once the computer has finished restarting as before we select Ubuntu and hit enter Ubuntu then shows this graphic of itself loading. 
You are now presented with the Ubuntu login screen. So as you can see down here we have options. If we click that we will, we will be presented with some of the options such as hibernate, suspend, shut down and restart. I'm going to type in my username which I set up on the installation in Windows as Andy and then hit enter and then my password was set to password and then I hit enter again. Okay, now Ubuntu begins its loading process, which will take a small amount of time. This spinning wheel here is the equivalent of the egg timer within Windows, it just shows that activity is happening. Okay, so as you can see, the GUI for Ubuntu is now loaded. Now, this is us ready to use the computer as if um, that's Ubuntu fully installed. So I'll just give you a really quick tour of Ubuntu and how to get access to certain functions and features. So if you want to use the internet you should be already set up to go. It should just be a case of clicking the Firefox icon here. I'm just going to check that works fine. Sound should also work. Um, Ubuntu has been set up in a way that your internet and your sound and your graphics should all work straight out of the box. So I'm going to try visiting my website www.upsetpc.com and that's working just fine. So I can close this window now. If you go up to applications, this is the equivalent of your start bar. We've got accessories your standard things in here, calculator, text editor, games, just some little games which are quite fun, nibbles is good, graphics, GIMP is an image editor, it's a better version of the Windows uh, image editing software, you've got the internet, so we've got obviously Firefox, Pigeon Internet Messenger that can be set up to chat with your MSN um, clients, Office, we've got Open Office presentation, spreadsheet and word processor, the equivalent of PowerPoint, Excel and Word. So I'm going to open the word processor just to show you that this all works straight out of the box. Another thing to keep your eye on is this small uh, orange icon up the top here. And this basically says there are updates available to the uh, computer, very much like the Windows Update service. Clicking that, you can download all the latest updates and patches straight from Ubuntu and keep your system as up to date as possible. One of the great things about Linux is it's very uh, safe to use online. For instance, there are hardly any viruses. Uh, I've, in all my time using Linux, I've never really come across a virus which has affected me in any way at all. So here's Office. It looks very similar to Word, as I'm sure you can see. You can just type a little bit in here, change the text size, change the change these things. We click File Save, and we can save it in uh, Documents just as a test. I'll click Save, and then close that. And then we have uh, these are like media players, and then you've got the uh, accessibility options here and add and remove programs. Now you notice that I had saved a document there. That's saved in places documents. And then there is my test document which I just saved. Double clicking on that opens up the word processor and there's my document right there. Uh, to install, install new software, the easiest way to do it would be just to open up your web browser, Google for the software, and download the Linux version. But I will show you more about this in later tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this Upset PC video guide on how to install Ubuntu. Any problems, please email me at support at upsetpc.com um, or get in touch by going to the upsetpc.com website and using the contact form there. Thank you very much. Bye.